Good morning and welcome to Faith Formation. This is the third week in our series, Redeem, Taking Back What We Lost. And we're just kind of flipping our attitude from maybe one of worry and fear and sadness for all the things that we lost last year. And we're just thinking about what we gained. We're looking at the bright side of things in this series. So the first Sunday, we took back communion. And then last week we took back family and the idea of just come and visit your church family. We're here and we're going to be safe. And then today we're taking back Sabbath. And Sabbath is a time of rest. And I know sometimes when you think rest, you think sleeping or napping. And I'll admit that um, I love a good nap. But it's just anything you do that brings you joy, that re-energizes you and recharges you to go out and do all the other things that you have to do. So we know everyone's busy, um, but we also know we need a rest. You can't keep doing soccer and gymnastics and all the things if you don't have a rest somewhere in there. And sometimes we think of um, Sabbath as just self-care, taking care of yourself so that you can go out and be the best you that you can. And so let's watch a little video about self-care. What exactly is self-care? Self-care is setting time aside throughout your day to care for your mind and body. Basic self-care is one that you might be familiar with, like brushing your teeth, eating, or taking a bath. Self-care can be physical, spiritual, social, and emotional. Some activities you can do for physical self-care is exercising, eating healthy, drinking plenty of water, getting plenty of sleep, walking your dog, and deep breathing. Journaling, practicing kindness, compassion, gratitude, forgiveness are some ways to practice emotional self-care. A couple of ways to practice social self-care are spending time with family, building healthy relationships, keeping social media positive, and setting boundaries. Spending time in nature, meditation, and praying are some examples of spiritual self-care. Self-care is not rocket science. It's simply spending time to love yourself. Yeah, so we need to take care of ourselves. Um, God made us to rest. Even God rested if you read that creation story. So I encourage you this week to find your Sabbath and take it back. Whatever you love, whatever it is that you're normally too busy to do, whatever makes you relax, whatever helps you, all those things that bring you joy but you think you don't have time for, it's time to take that time back. We all need a rest. You need a rest for yourself. You're not gonna be the best you if you're tired and grumpy. You need it for others. You're not gonna treat others nicely and kindly if you're tired and grumpy and worn out. But you also need to take a Sabbath for God. God wants you to have a Sabbath and having a Sabbath is a form of stewardship. When you're taking a rest, you're trusting God to help you get everything done, even with a rest. That's being a good steward. God also wants you to have a Sabbath because we are called to go out and help others, to do good, to do no harm, to make disciples that make disciples. We can't do any of that kingdom building work if we are worn out and tired. <laughs> We just can't do it. We can't be the disciple that God created us to be if we're tired all the time. How can you help your neighbor when your to-do list is so long that you don't have any time for them? How can you have an open, loving heart for those who need you when um, you're grumpy and can't even offer a smile because you're just worn out and your to-do list is so long? God wants us to rest and recharge. And part of that Sabbath, part of that resting and recharging is also recharging your heart. 
and recharging your soul and recharging your batteries for Jesus. So part of the Sabbath is also finding time to worship. And I know you, you, you pray every day and maybe you read the Bible every day and you try to be nice every day, but take time on a Wednesday night or a Sunday morning and make part of your energy building routine. Just coming to church. We want you to be online if that's how you feel safe and we're so thankful that we have this, but we say it all the time. There's just something different about being surrounded by friends and people that love Jesus just as much as you do. People that are encouraging you, praying for you, walking with you, and showing you in real life how to be like Jesus. So this week, find your Sabbath. Is it reading? Is it taking a walk? Is it writing in a journal? Um, is it taking a nap? So find your Sabbath, the thing that helps you rest and not think about your to-do list for a little while. And then try to make some time for church. Make that part of your Sabbath too. You're recharging your brain and your body, and you're also recharging your heart for Jesus. So this week, take back a Sabbath. Get energized, rested, and ready to go out and do the good work Jesus would have us do. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for strong minds and strong bodies and strong hearts. And Lord, we pray to take care of ourselves and to do things that help us be strong for ourselves, our friends, our family, and most of all you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.